Hi friends. In last sessions, I had covered the basics of vibration, but I have seen that in uh, for many vibration experts, they fail to pinpoint any problems related to any bearings, gear boxes. But they can read the spectrum, but they cannot correlate the spectrum with the actual fault of the machine, because they don't know the they don't have the basic understanding of the bearings, gear boxes, pumps, fans. So, so in these sessions, I want to cover the basic mechanical components understanding knowledges. That is. bearings gear boxes pumps etc i will also cover some of the basics of lubrication and hydraulics yeah today we can start with the basics of bearing why the bearing is used bearing used mainly for the supporting of shafts in bearing i will cover these are the topics okay it may it will cover types of bearings general bearing anti friction bearing construction features advantages applications load carrying capacity cages what is the bearing internal clearance what is the how we designate the bearing it is iso numbering system bearing arrangements mounting dismounting and bearing failures in in any system we have two types of friction one is sliding friction one more is rolling friction always sliding friction is higher than the rolling friction in case of journal bearing here this uh, friction is sliding friction in but in case of anti friction bearing the friction is mainly the rolling friction here i will cover today the what are the types of bearings mainly the we categorize the bearing into two types one is friction bearing other is anti friction bearings in case of friction bearings we cover uh, we have plain bearings bush bearings and oil sleeve in, in in case of anti friction bearings as the name suggests the friction is very less there is a rolling frictions in case of friction bearings there is there are no rolling elements but in case of anti friction bearings we have the rolling elements either the ball or rollers these anti friction bearings we can classify as ball bearings needle roller bearings spherical roller bearings cylindrical roller bearings and taper roller bearings in case of journal bearing journal bearing we have the shaft rotates inside the housing that is bearing that mainly the lube holds the holds supports the shaft why you use the journal bearing because journal bearing used to carry the heavy radial load that is perpendicular to the shaft axis it mainly consists of the journal which rotates freely in a supporting metal or sleeve or shell generally there are already i told there is no rolling element sir in the in this bearings so there is a sliding friction in case of journal bearings generally the journal bearings are used in turbines large milling system engine cranks compressors gear box and some of the bearing supports here in case of anti friction bearing already i told that there is a rolling friction the friction is always less in case of uh, type when you categorize the types of bearings there are mainly two types in in case of anti friction bearings one is ball bearings other category is rolling bearings in case of ball bearings also we have the deep groove ball bearing angulo conduit ball bearing self aligning ball bearing etc that i will cover in next slides in case of rolling bearings there are they have there are cylindrical bearings taper roller bearings and spherical roller bearings some of, these are some of the examples in rolling elements when the in case of ball bearings we have the point contact here in this due to this point contact what we have the less friction and less temperature so 
we generally use this type of ball bearings in high speed application and light loads because there is a point contact in between the ball and raceways in case of, you can see in the motors we have generally the ball bearings with higher speeds but in case of roller bearings there is friction there is contact is surface surface contact that is line contact due to line contact there is a friction is higher and temperature also higher so generally use the roller bearings in the low speed and high loads because there is a line contact so it is mainly used for the high loads already i explained that in case of line here the we categorize we differentiate the line contact with the point contact in case of point contact there is a less friction and less heat so higher speeds see you can hear the contact between the balls and the raceway it is a point contact but in case of the rolling elements there is a line contact so here stress is lower because area is higher so there is a higher load carrying capacity these are some of the rolling elements generally used in the anti friction bearings their ball bearings that is spherical roller rollers there are symmetrical rollers we can use we can use the asymmetrical spherical rollers we can use the cylindrical roller shape and taper roller shape what are the components of the bearings already you you know that there are mainly four components exist in the any bearings that is inner ring outer ring cage and seal that and rolling elements are balls are rollers the cage mainly used to hold the rolling elements at equal distance okay so first we cover the ball bearings the figure shows the ball bearing is there is a deep groove ball bearing okay there is a deep groove at the inner race and outer race in that groove the balls rotates okay. already i explained in earlier slide there is a point contact so speed is very high its design is very simple <coughs> and there is internal clearance we cannot measure the internal clearance in the in case of ball bearings like we we can measure in the spherical roller bearings by means of filler gauge but in case of ball bearings we cannot measure the internal clearance and this ball bearing performance generally the already this is the graph shows the speed is very it can rotate at very high speeds and the it the ball bearings are generally used for the low radial load and low axial load axial load is lower than the radial loads also combined load so it can take less here cost is less life also is a medium but misalignment it cannot take much misalignment okay yeah so torque carrying capacity is also low so the ball bearings we use generally in electrical motors are small conveyors in case of big conveyors we use generally spherical roller bearings okay and also in case of light duty gear boxes and also in some of the small vehicles we use the ball bearings what are the basic dimensions here is a pitch circle diameter outside diameter and width pitch diameter is the distance between the center of opposite balls okay yeah it yeah, here we can stop here for the next class we can continue for the other types of the bearings